It's one thing to be personally self-realized, to know the Buddha state of mind that is always omnipresent for you, that cannot change, that cannot alter, that is your home base. But how much more epic of an achievement would it be if we, as a collective, can actually change the entire collective? Buddhists have called this bodhisattva. Those that are fit for disappearance, those that are fit for complete liberation, but they, in a sense, postpone or hold off for the sake of helping others cross that bridge as well. Because so many of us get lost in this personal seeking. But that's not, that personal realization, that personal empowerment is not the extent of who you are and why you came here. This is a time of brave souls. This is a time of courageous incarnations. You're meant to be here, to be of service, to be as loving and as wise as you can be. And this requires someone to be empty of self with the inclusion of the empowerment of self. Shepherding consciousness. And yes, this requires personal training. This requires honest, personal introspection on a day-to-day -day basis, moment-to-moment -moment basis. To have faith in your higher self, to have faith in the orchestration of what's occurring on planet Earth as we speak. To have faith in the timing of the circumstances as they manifest themselves in your personal life. If you can go back to that state of faith and empowerment, the more and more you will become a powerful creator and you will then actually learn to harness the powers of the universe for the benefit of all. Because the bigger you become, the more powerful you become, the freer you become, the clearer you become, the emptier of a rigid personal self you become, the more you are able to share and give and inspire. And it's time to live up to that and to remember where we came from, to remember why we came here at this timing, in this particular expression that you chose to be. It's important to remember that and to be a shining light for the rest of humanity so that everyone can follow. It takes one candle to light a thousand and it will never diminish its own light. One flame can light infinite flames without diminishing its own brightness. We do want a world that's a reflection of our hearts and where we're going. So, let's blend our personal power and our personal freedom with motion, with movement, with action, with caring about all of our civilization as one whole being. Let's see what we can solve. And you'd be surprised what you can solve, almost single-handedly, let alone with thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. So that's what this is all about.